Neil Jacobs hails from Columbus, Ohio, but his musical influences extend far beyond the borders of that state capital. I was given a grant to study with the Gypsies of Spain, and I would have my own guide would come, my own gypsy guide would come and, uh, and just point to my guitars and me and take me along into the, the, the haunts of the, the, and the, the clubs where the old gypsies were playing, and he would make sure that I experienced every last detail of, uh, of their culture and how they played and all the emotion, and, and it was a wonderful, wonderful time. That was Neil Jacobs' first adventure with the Gypsies. He's been back many times since, traveling through Romania, Bulgaria, and the countries that make up the former Yugoslavia. You can hear those influences emerging in his music, most obviously on his album, American Gypsy. Some of the songs I wrote 20 years ago and just adapted them to that. And some of them I picked up travel touring with this Balkan group through the refugee camps in Eastern Europe and took some of the folks' tunes and worked with those. Now in his early 50s, Neil Jacobs has followed an unpredictable musical path, but he always knew he'd be a guitarist. I started out with a shoebox and some rubber bands and uh, grew up from there. I just I was drawn to strings and uh, to much to my mother's chagrin. It sort of took me away and I, just, I had no choice at some point. Although he's from the rock generation, that was never the path Neil Jacobs took. His first recording, Cold Fish, was with an acoustic group in the chamber jazz spirit of bands like Oregon. It was like folk jazz. I, I had this, I had this, wanted to produce music, and we got some guys together from Ohio uh, University, and I wrote this music. We got these jobs kind of doing opening acts for Spyro Gyre and Jeff Lorber and Weather Reporter. Uh, so we'd be out in front of these huge, you know, huge stages at a young age, thousand or more people and performing this very strange music. To, you know, no one heard anything like it. The 12-string guitar is just an additional musical color for most players, but for Neil Jacobs, it's his main instrument. I just picked it up one day and when I was quite young. It was one of the first instruments I played, and it just was an orchestra in my It just felt like an orchestra. You could hear so many other instruments. You could hear a piano, you can hear a chord, you can make other instruments, and it's, I wanted an orchestrated sound because if you're playing solo, it's, it's nice to be able to, to make all these instruments. It was his treks through Eastern Europe that had the greatest influence on Neil Jacobs. In places like Serbia, Croatia, and Slovenia, Jacobs often played in refugee camps, sometimes performing as shots rang out in the near distance. I was also there officially with UNESCO, or with the, the Balkan refugee camp tour, and all the way into Sarajevo performing, and they built a huge stage for us in one day, and, Central bombed out Sarajevo with the mines still everywhere, and we performed in the middle of the the city. Yeah. So yeah, I was there many different times at different before the war, during the war, and after the war. Jacob says that no matter how destitute and despairing the people were, they always brought their music. They would always save their instruments if they could, so they brought their musical instruments to the refugee camps. And they were great musicians and, you know, a lot of very educated people that you met. And just you, your heart went out to them everywhere you went. And you just, 
you play till four or five in the morning until you, and then get back on the bus and you couldn't leave. Much of the music on his album, World Blue, was inspired by these travels. After his American Gypsy album, Neil Jacobs returned to more pastoral terrain on secret places. It's mostly original material, but he also tosses in a cover of Miser Lou and some classical compositions. These tend to be showpieces in his live performances. Neil Jacobs continues touring and living in two worlds, as an American Gypsy and an American fingerstyle player. His latest album is Secret Places. For Echoes, I'm Kimberly Haas. For more on this and other productions of Echoes, go to www.echoes.org.